Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Today I will show you another page in my My Life is a True Story journal. That's number seven. And I had this text or parts of it laying around from the previous project. And yeah, I had an idea then, but I needed more. And um, I treat them here with a dry brush with hard bristles, a bit of gesso. Hardly press it down so that you only have a tiny bit on that craft paper and um, Treat them all like this and After that after they dried I attached them together always a couple together in this way and um, I will have this four couples or pairs in the middle and the leftovers I had laying around there coming right and left on that page. So the page I treat here with gesso, a uh, bit thin down gesso, but only on the edges. I will leave the middle part without any preparation so that when I put the acrylic paint on top it will look different. I use a baby wipe to put it down, use my um, Amsterdam acrylic that the turquoise and then I work with burnt sienna and you can already see the stains where the gesso is there it, it is lighter and the middle one without the prepara preparation the paper will soak up the paint much more and you are not able to move it around a lot and that's what I like a lot it looks fantastic I will do here the edges a bit more. So that's it. Look at that. I really like this effect. Looks fantastic. Distressed the way I like it. So and I will put that this way. Assemble it first for me to have a look in uh, which way I want to have the tags laying around because I want to stamp them and they should be stamped all in one direction. So. Um, this is a freebie stamp with haberdashy stamps. Oh, no, it's not the haberdashy one. It's the um, telegram, telegraph letter thing. Um, now I glue it down, and I didn't use I used the normal the tacky glue here. Not nothing. No gel medium. I didn't want to have the gel medium around here. So on on outside the page, I. Didn't want to have it um, uh, stained with something else. So I go around here with uh, my uni ball. Golly, please shut it. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and for shading, I use my Stabilo Oil and take it directly from the pen with my water tank brush that I have more control. Golly, would you please shut your gob? So, and I wanted to have something on top of it. This is a stencil I use. Initially, I had the idea of using modeling paste, but I wasn't brave enough, you know, with all the uneven stuff under it. And I use acrylic paint with my bluish, green, blue, greenish paint I like so much. And it worked quite good, but you need to put very, very, very little paint on that uh, makeup sponge. The less, the better. Otherwise, it will sip under because you can't really put that stencil flat down. So I was quite surprised that I made it because I I'm not a very precise and and patiently worker. So, but no zipping through and it's perfect. And here I go around with my micro pen um, and edge it a bit. It is very thin. I didn't want to have it that um, thick, I didn't want to have these thick lines, very thin ones. You see them in the close-up, but not from that distance. And with the white Posca, I put some highlights in, always put it on top. I forgot something there. I put it in, on top and then wipe it or blend it out with my fingers. So I go down the whole way. Um, and this is actually Durban's Color Soft pens. I use this grey pen for shading outside. I wanted to have something. Yeah, I didn't want to use the Stabilo oil for that. So I needed some grey and I had a look and 
didn't want to use pastel, so I used the color soft. Yeah, and when I finished, you know, initially I wanted only the stenciled flower there in the middle, so, but then I went on with right and left, and now I think, I thought there is an unbalanced, yeah, it's not balanced enough, on the top left, there was, yeah, something like a hole, I thought, I wanted to have something there, so I make, made this double tag again, treated in the same way, and yeah, I wasn't sure about how, and thought long and hard, but at the end, I glued it down, not in this way, in the other way, so, yeah, in that way, and um, I liked it much better, so cut the hang over, off the hang over, the overhanging stuff off, and of course go around with my own uni ball to line, make some lines, and um, what a bit of shading, of course. Yeah, exactly with my stabilo all again, and that's basically it. I think I will etch with some brown big pen, big brush here with a big pen, big brush in brown and that's it and then you will see a close up um, already and you will see that I added something else it was laying around here on my my table for a while and I thought that's perfect for it so and it hasn't got any particular meaning but I thought it looked nice on there so that's it that's my close up I hope you like it and I Hope I will see you with my next page. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a fantastic time. Pictures are coming up now. So, bye-bye, guys. Bye.